So the question you've got to ask yourself now, and it's not just you, but it's everybody with cancer. Is this the reason why cancer is truly explosive? Because now we've built an information economy that uses other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, not like a Linux machine, but kind of. And when people, you know, think that this leap that I'm making is so big, I casually remind them of the U.S. federal government's finding in 2018 that they found that lab rodents, meaning mammals, nocturnal mammals, all got cancer from 2G, 3G, and 4G, you know, radiation. And the reason why I highlighted that information when the federal government paid for this bill, it's called the NTP Toxicity Study. It came out November 1st, 2018. Again, you can fact check me and look at it. The fact that these animals got these cancers, we don't know if these animals actually had SV40 in them, you know, because of, of what has gone on in the past. Nobody is asking these fundamental questions. In fact, you started this podcast with me because I know you wanted to talk about food. And you can see that I derailed you really quickly. Why? I don't want you to think that food's not an issue because, remember, GMOs also have miRNA that actually is capable of changing uh, the code of DNA, but it needs something to get past that nuclear membrane. See, if it doesn't get past the nuclear membrane, it really can't cause cancer. Now,